Hey, here's a nice little induction problem, 1.3.14. It's, uh, it's got a pretty common mistake, or not common, but an easy mistake to make. Um, so I'm going to run through this example and point out that very possible, very almost likely mistake that a lot of you could make. So let's start with n equals 1. Uh, the left-hand side, we can see, is 1. And the right-hand side is 4 minus uh, 3 times 1 half to the plug in 1 there, we get 0. So that's 4 minus 3 times 1, which is 1. Step number 2, assume true for n equals k. So we have 1 plus 2 times a half plus 3 times a half squared plus all the way out to k times 1 half to the k minus 1. This should be equal to 4 minus k plus 2, 1 half uh, k minus 1. Step number 3, show true for n equals k plus 1. So that's saying 1 plus 2 times a half plus 3 times 1 half squared plus all the way out to k, 1 half, k minus 1, plus the k plus 1th term. So we have k plus 1, 1 half. k plus 1 minus 1 is just k. And that should be 4 minus k plus 3, 1 half, to the k. So this right here is my substitution and this is my goal and just make sure that you haven't said that they're equal just put some question marks above that around the equal sign alright step number four or sorry moving on to the induction part of step number three we know we've assumed that this piece right here is the same as this so this is what we're going to substitute in for it so 4 minus k plus 2 1 half k minus 1 plus and then this term again here the k plus 1 term k plus 1 1 half to the k alright so now we're getting close to the step that I uh, made a mistake on when I initially did this problem. Um, so I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this up, this 1 half, 1 half to the k, and 1 half to the minus 1, plus k plus 1, 1 half to the k. 4 minus k plus 1, sorry, k plus 2, times 1 half to the k and then this is equal to 2 if I give that 2 that negative 1 power down to the 2 and to the 1 uh, I'll, I'll get the reciprocal so this is just 2 plus k plus 1 1 half to the k alright so then what I did is I, I distribute this 2 this 2 right here I'm gonna throw it in to this 2 and I'm also going to give it to that k here. So I have k plus 2k plus 4, 1 half k plus k plus 1, 1 half k. All right, now I'm going to do this next step in red because this is what I did and it's incorrect. Uh, what I did is I recognized that I both have a 1 half to the k, 1 half to the k. So I factored out a 1 half to the k. And it's an easy mistake to make, although now that I look back on it, I can't believe I made it. But um, if you don't quite see it, I want you to pause the video right now and just take a second and try and reflect about why this is wrong. Because if I simplify this, 
I should get uh, that k plus 3, but I don't. I get 3k plus 5, and uh, that's obviously wrong. So just think about it for a second. I'm going to go ahead and solve the problem how, how it was supposed to be done. Okay, so the mistake that I made is this negative. I was treating this negative as if it was distributing to this positive as well. So when I factored out a 1 half k, um, I was actually, I wrote a big parenthesis and I was actually treating as if that negative goes to this second term over here. And it doesn't, it just goes to this term. So what I did uh, to fix it, I just distributed the negative into these two terms here. So that's negative 2k plus 4 and 1 half k plus k plus 1, 1 half k. So now I can factor out that 1 half to the k. And I have this plus k plus 1. And now I can simplify to minus k. Oh, sorry. I almost did it again. That should be a minus 4 right there. Minus 4 which means that this is a minus 4 here. I'm sorry for that. And so that's minus k minus 3, which obviously simplifies to take out the k and then put this term in front. Sorry, take out the negative, and I get this. And which was our goal. You can see it up here. So, and then step number 4. Um, should write a step including uh, summarizing each of the steps of mathematical induction.